In this video, we'll look at the isotope notation for aluminum, Al. It's also called nuclear notation, sometimes isotopic notation. So here's aluminum on the periodic table, and we have what's called hyphen notation here. We have a hyphen and then this number. So aluminum 27, that 27 is the mass number, the number of protons and neutrons. So we'll use this to write our isotope notation. So when we write the isotope notation, we're going to write the element symbol, that's Al for aluminum, and then the mass number, that'll go up here. The atomic number will go down here. And if it has a charge, we'll put that out here. When we look at our aluminum here, because we have this isotope of aluminum, aluminum 27, we know the mass number is 27. So we can just write that in, 27. And you'll note that if you had a sample of aluminum, most of it would be this isotope here, aluminum 27. And we know that because if we averaged the isotopes we have in that sample based on their abundance, it's pretty close to this average atomic mass. That's pretty close to the 27. So most of the atoms will be aluminum 27. The atomic number, that's right here on the periodic table. So the atomic number for aluminum, that's 13. That'll always be 13 for all its isotopes. And there's no negative or positive sign after the element symbol here on the periodic table. All the elements on the periodic table are neutral. And it doesn't say this is an ion or anything, so we don't really have an ionic charge. It's neutral. We could put a zero there. At this point, we have the nuclear or isotope notation for the isotope aluminum 27. Pause and do the isotope notation for aluminum 26. So we write the element symbol. Then we have the mass number up here. That's the 26. The atomic number down here, 13, it's always 13 for aluminum. And again, there's no charge, so it's just going to be a zero here for the charge, ionic charge. And that's the isotope notation for aluminum 26. Note that we don't need to write anything about neutrons because you can just figure them out. If the mass number is 26 and you have 13 protons, then you have to have 13 neutrons for aluminum 26. Likewise, you could figure out the number of neutrons for aluminum 27 the same way. This is Dr. V with the isotope or nuclear notation for aluminum, AL. Thanks for watching.